the Trump administration is taking on affirmative action. So you know that affirmative action. How much of a role should race play? Affirmative action in higher education is a polarizing topic. The New York Times recently reported that the Justice Department plans to investigate intentional race-based discrimination in college and university admissions, which could be a reference to affirmative action. The DOJ later clarified that its focus was on voices not often heard in this discussion, Asian Americans. Race shouldn't be a factor. Corey Liu is a volunteer executive director for Students for Fair Admissions. The organization sued Harvard University in 2014. He claims affirmative action hurt Asian Americans, who reportedly have to go through a higher admission standard compared to other ethnicities. It doesn't matter whether I'm Asian, just look at me as an individual human being. A 2009 Princeton study claimed that Ivy League schools require Asian Americans to score 140 points higher on their SAT than whites, 320 points higher than Hispanics, and 450 points higher than African Americans to be admitted. The study's author Thomas Espenshade stopped short of saying Asian Americans were at a disadvantage because their research lacked additional information like admission essays and recommendations. I think that's racist. The Asian student who achieved a certain score, if they checked a different racial box, they get into the school. But somehow we don't want too many Asians. There's such a thing as too many Asians. Lou accuses some universities of racial balancing, limiting Asian Americans in schools to make room for other ethnicities. But Students for Fair Admissions doesn't come without controversy. Now what has happened to the Asian population during this period of time? It is led by Edward Bloom, who is also the architect of another anti-affirmative action case involving Abigail Fisher, a rejected white female student from the University of Texas. Fisher's case went all the way to the Supreme Court before justices ruled college and universities could consider race as one factor among many. The use of race and ethnicity must be fully abandoned. Despite Bloom's history of engineering anti-affirmative action lawsuits, Lou is adamant that Bloom isn't using Asian Americans as a so-called wedge to divide minorities on this topic. He speaks for many Asians. Uh, our nonprofit organization has over 21,000 members, and most of them are Asian. Not everyone agrees with Lou. In fact, a 2016 national poll reported that 64% of Asian Americans support affirmative action in higher education. Some say Asian Americans are intentionally being used as a wedge as they've been before. Asian Americans historically have always played a role in the racial debate and we've always historically been used as you know by white opponents to equal opportunity for you know them to fight civil rights policies. As a former application reviewer, Poon contends colleges take a holistic approach in admissions that go beyond race and grades, like legacy preferences, recommendations, and financial need. We need to think about how race in the United States is so much more complex now and how Asian Americans play a role in either um, advancing racial justice or advancing what I call racial just us. SFFA and Harvard are currently gathering facts for their case. And although the DOJ won't be reviewing this suit, it will be investigating a similar case by 64 Asian American associations who allege racial discrimination in Harvard admissions.